Alright, so today I'm going to review Salem's Lot by Stephen King. Now the story is about a man named Ben Mears who travels back to his hometown of Salem's Lot to really just see how things have changed and you know what basically what's going on. But while there, he stumbles upon a house that he had a horrible experience in as a kid, a very traumatizing one, and all the strange things going on in the, in the town seem to revolve around that. Now, Stephen King first got the inspiration for this story after he asked his wife one day, hey, what would happen if Count Dracula came to America? And his wife gave a pretty funny response that went, well, he'd probably get run over by a car, because, you know, it, he's not used to that, that kind of technology. He might send him to shock and might kill him. But, you know, Stephen King held on to the idea. He thought, wait a minute, maybe there can be a Count Dracula in the state. Maybe there can indeed be a new Dracula for this generation. And he just kept to it. And, you know, his wife encouraged him and encouraged him. Then we got Salem's Lot. Now, even this, though this book is a little slow sometimes, when the book is good, it's phenomenal. Like... There are some very, very eerie scenes in this book. Even eerie for a Stephen King novel, which is saying a lot, but... Yeah, I think this is the best book to read by him if you just want something that's eerie, but not straight-up scary. But yeah, that was my review on Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I think it's a very fun, very spooky book to read. It has some pretty cool characters, and I give it an A+. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and sub for more content.